love this film. Um, Emily, I just love that Rosemary is um, told that, you know, you're, you're not just a girl, you're a queen, you can do whatever you want. Um, what did you particularly admire about her qualities? I mean, I really loved that sort of, she's got like a kind of ferocious tenacity in her pursuit of Antony and determination that he is for her, you know, and I kind of loved it. I found her quite reckless and funny and, um, and I, I just was sort of bewitched by these strange farmers and they'd been driven a bit mad by their isolation and loneliness and, um, it just felt completely unique there. Just she's a completely uniquely written character. And I guess that's what you look for. You look for those parts that you haven't played before. You look for people who seem incredibly human and yet incredibly complex and as, as we all are, you know. I just really, I really loved playing her. Absolutely. And Jamie, similarly, I adore that quirky vulnerability of Anthony. He kind of reminds me of people that I that I know. So it's great to see that on screen. Um, what again for you was it about Anthony that spoke to you specifically? You know, I think I think that, you know, that sort of oddness and, and quirkiness and, and sort of uh, there's something unsure about him and lacking in him in terms of like what he feels he's capable of or or his, you know, fulfilling his own potential and believing in himself. And these are all things that, that we can all, for the most part, unless you're some raving narcissist, that you can, you can all <laughs> recognize in yourself, you know, and um, much closer to, to reality, you know, I, I, we've all, I, it's, it's heightened, you know, the movie's very heightened, obviously, and in, in its tone. Um, but it's grounded in the things that matter in love and, and family and you know he 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 just I I just in the, in the nicest possible way I wanted to give him a hug um, the whole way through the, the, the movie and um, I sometimes feel that I want to hug a lot of time so you know <laughs> that, I, I could I could buy into that you know absolutely I wanted to give him a hug and a, and a kick at times um, Emily some incredibly exceptional casting at John Hamm, the dreamy John Hamm. As Adam, I love it, the Rolls Royce and the white coat, just so funny. Um, how much fun is he to have around on set? Well, he was so great and he's sort of just so easy to work with. It's kind of like saying, it's just easy peasy working with John and, and he's, he was so perfect actually in that role because my feeling about that role is that he could have just been quite a, um, paint by numbers, sort of obnoxious American coming in to disrupt the beauty of Ireland. But actually, he played him with such likability and nuance that I think you do see him as a viable threat to Antony. Like, you do see her stuck between these two guys suddenly. And here he is on paper. He seems to be everything that is appropriate as the kind of guy that she should be with. But yet, she wants to soul gaze with Antony, and that's who she feels she belongs with. And, um, yeah, I mean, John. John's just, it's so effortless for him and he's hes just a total pro and he was he was great fun. And Jamie Christopher Walken, age 76, apparently always wanted to go to Ireland and this film has brought him there. I love that. Um, what was he like to have on set? Was he just sort of in awe of the beauty every day? I think we were sort of in awe of him. I mean, he might've been in awe of the beauty. Um, that's kind of how it worked out. You know, he yeah, he was vocal about that and, and of always wanting to be in Ireland. And, you know, uh, like a lot of, um, you know, Americans uh, feel very drawn to Ireland, a lot of particularly from the East Coast where, where Chris is from. There's a lot of connections to Ireland and, you know, um, there is a, a sort of pull towards uh, East, towards Ireland. Listen, he, he loved it. He, he Chris, I can't say enough lovely things about Chris. He is this most gentle, um, soulful, beautiful man. And um, what was really lovely about about him when it came to the work was he was he was terrified, like we all are. You know, he was scared of it. He was, and uh, he had a vulnerability to him that you sort of don't expect because he's played so many sort of sinister characters and obviously so many iconic characters and these incredibly commanding roles that he's given us over the years. But actually, he's a real softy and um, just a joy to spend time with and be around with. I can't believe I got to call him daddy for a few weeks. <laughs> 
I love that daddy um and actually both of you I adored the, the singing that stunning wild mountain time um you both obviously got singing backgrounds um what did you enjoy about performing that and how delighted were each of you to see that in the script Emily I mean, I, I I love that song. I've always loved that song and I've heard so many different iterations and versions of it. Um, so I love listening to it. I am always slightly frozen with fear singing in front of people and especially to sing in front of Christopher, you know, to sing the song for him, like directly into his iconic blue eyes was was quite nerve wracking. And um, But I think what I also appreciated about it is that John Patrick Shanley, even though we pre-recorded the song, he didn't use the pre-record. He just said, I want to use the live version. It should, it should sound real. It should sound imperfect. It should sound like you're in a bar and not every note is perfect. And so I was like, oh, what a relief. But it, it, was, it is such a beautiful song and I think holds such a dear place for so many people, especially if you're from Ireland. And um, it was very moving to do it, but I am, in general, I find it very nerve wracking to sing in front of people. So I, I felt more comfortable singing with Jamie up there than I did by myself. Oh yes, and Jamie, yeah, how delighted were you with that scene and to see that singing in the script? Quite the opposite. Um, I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Frozen uh, with fear. <laughs> you know, I can, I can sing, I can sing as well as every sort of goofy actor guy can sing, which is a bit, you know. And <laughs> I, I, I was riddled with 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 fear, and um, that was the first day that we shot. Emily and I shot together, so it was a, one of the first scenes we did together, you know. Um, but I, I, you know, I, it, it was it was a joy to sing that song. You know, I, I've known that song forever. Um, always known it to be just a sort of Celtic song in general, but a Scottish and Irish heritage and it, depending on who you talk to. And um, I've always, lo I've always loved it. I mean, you know, beautiful, obviously beautiful words. And um, it definitely has a different uh, meaning to me now, that song. And, uh, uh, it was, uh, but it was a scary day. Yeah. Well, you performed it amazingly. I loved it. Um, and I actually read that both of you have similar ways of taking on your work and that you just have a lot of fun together, which I just love. That feels like feels like me. Um, what were some of the sort of most fun, memorable days on set? God, well, it, it, it was all really just a, a total joy. We laughed so much and Jamie's so funny and so silly and great to be around and... And I think we approached it very similarly and neither of us took it, well, we take the work seriously, but I don't think we believe in torturing ourselves, you know, to get there. So it's always nice to find that working chemistry with someone that is the same as you in that way. And, um, oh my God, I don't know, specific memories are quite hard to pull from, but it, 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 I think certainly managing to <laughs> survive the rain machines was like memories that I have, but, um, I don't know. It's it was, it's quite hard to pinpoint one specific anecdote or story because it really the whole experience was like being at some stunningly beautiful school camp. You know, I felt like we were such idiots together the whole time, and it was just so fun. It was really sad when it ended. I was so sad. Jamie, yeah, I imagine you agree. <laughs> I, I agree. I concur. I agree. Yeah, it was, you know, we we just had a lot of fun. And like every, some, there's elements that, you know, on a different day, a different actress could make things harder. And Emily just never did that. Like me carrying you up that mountain with the rain machine um, while I literally carried you up. You know, the, I, you, know you can think that there's some, there's some girls would make that whole thing a nightmare and you're carrying me wrong and don't put your hand like that. You know, all, you know, all this sort of stuff, you know. Um, <laughs> don't put your hand there. Where the hell was going? You know what I mean. You were very inappropriate. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, perfect. Leave it there, Emily and Jamie. An absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey.